Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the Dynamic Product module. Dynamic Product is a PrestaShop module that allows your customers to order highly customizable products. To start using the module, first open your uh, any specific uh, product you want to uh, make uh, customizable. Then you can access the module like so and just enable it for the current product. Next, what you want to do is add your uh, different types of fields. The module supports many types of fields like numeric inputs, sliders, drop downs, and so on. In this tutorial, we are gonna uh, configure a customizable table. So we are uh, gonna allow the customer to pick the width and uh, length and uh, so on. Uh, so first we create the width uh, field, like so, and then the length field. Uh, we can configure uh, initial values, like so, and we can configure the units too. So we check our uh, product. So we have our uh, width, length, and the initial values, and the units. Uh, next, what we want to do is uh, configure a price formula to make our uh, price uh, dynamic. So uh, we click the width, multiply it by the length, and let's say the price per meter squared is 10 euros. And we must not forget to uh, convert the centimeter squared value to meters uh, squared. So now we can uh, check our product again. So right now we have one meter squared, which is $10. If we input uh, two meters, we have $20. Uh, three meters is 30 and uh, so on. So the way the module uh, works, the way the formula works is that uh, these fields are replaced by the current value that the customer has uh, picked we are going to add uh, other uh, options to our uh, product. First of all, uh, we want to uh, add a uh, height option. So let's say the height by default is 80 centimeters. And we want uh, to charge for the height like so. So we add the height and the unit price for the height is say uh, five euros but we have of course to convert two meters like so so now we have 10 plus uh, 4. 1 meter should give us uh, 15, which uh, is uh, 5 euros for the, or 5 dollars for the height and uh, 10 dollars for the area. We can uh, check how our formula is uh, uh, calculated by uh, going to the module configuration and enabling the debug mode. So when you enable the debug mode, you can open the browser console like so open the console and you will able you will be able to see the how the formula is uh, calculated so we have to reload then for example so now we can check how our formula is uh, calculated so we have uh, 100 multiplied by 100 which is the area plus the 100 multiplied by uh, uh, 5, which is the height. So this is a good way to uh, check how the formula is uh, calculated. Next, we want to add uh, another option, which is uh, to allow the customer uh, to pick if he wants uh, glass on, over the table or not. So uh, we can do this in uh, many different ways, but let's uh, pick a drop-down field 
to see how it works so we can name it glass uh, in the label we can name it glass option and then we can add two options say the initial option is no the second option is yes let's see how it's uh, displayed Play like this so what we want to have is when the customer picks the uh, yes option uh, we can add the uh, extra uh, price so what we can do here so when the customer picks yes we want to add let's say uh, 20 dollars so we can add this to the formula like this so this uh, part here the glass field will be replaced by the value of the selected option let's check so initially it's plus zero as you can see if we add it like so then we have plus 20 which is the value of the yes option and now we have 34 instead of uh, 40 so uh, let's say uh, we want to not have a static value so right now we have a static value uh, it doesn't depend on the area but we want to make this uh, dynamic and uh, make it uh, depend on the area so what we want to do is uh, first create uh, another field with the type dynamic variable and call it area so this field is gonna hold uh, the current uh, area we can configure it in the field formulas it's very simple so area equals width multiplied by height and we do the conversion to meters squared just to uh, simplify our uh, formulas so now we can replace all this by the area field and now as we have the area we can multiply our glass price by the uh, area like this so we just click the area here and check so now when we pick yes 20 is gonna be multiplied by the area and added to the uh, uh, cost so now we have yes so we check here we have 20 multiplied by 0.8 so the area should be let's fix it so the area should be of course uh, the length instead of the height we check again okay so now it's one meter squared if we pick two it's gonna be 20 by uh, multiplied by two meters squared as you can see the area is displayed here uh, we probably don't need that to be displayed to the customers so what we can do is uh, of course uh, hide it like so okay so what we can also do is use a checkbox in fact we don't need a drop down we can just use a checkbox like so and then uh, a checkbox value is either zero when it's unchecked or one when it's checked so uh, we we can uh, multiply this by 20 so when it's checked we will have 20 multiplied by the area when it's unchecked all this will be zero we can even put uh, parentheses just for uh, readability now we check our uh, okay uh, last option so now it's one multiplied by 20 multiplied one by one meter squared if we uncheck it, it's gonna be zero 
multiplied by 20 by uh, one meter squared. So uh, we can add other uh, options. Let's say uh, we want to, uh, we are gonna have many uh, types of uh, materials. Let's say wood or uh, plastic or uh, metal. So we can add those uh, options too. And now we are gonna use a drop down. Uh, so material, say material type. And we can add, uh, for example, three options. So it's gonna be wood, plastic. You can use the arrow to uh, easily navigate between the fields. And let's say uh, the unit price uh, of wood is uh, 10, plastic is five, and metal is eight, for example. So now, Let's see how it's displayed. Okay. So now we can uh, replace. So we can replace the unit price by the material like so. So now instead of uh, having a fixed uh, unit price, area unit price, we have a dynamic uh, unit price. We can also move this uh, to the top so that it would be the uh, first option that the customer picks. So now the customer picks, for example, wood or metal, and the price changes accordingly. So now it's uh, multiplied by eight because our uh, metal price is uh, eight, for plastic is gonna be five, and so on. So uh, let's say we want to allow the customer to uh, buy uh, chairs with a table so we can add a checkbox. Let's call it chairs. And the label is by chairs. So it's gonna be displayed like this. And uh, we want to display a field which lets the customer uh, pick how many number of uh, chairs he would like to to buy so we add let's call it number of chairs so the initial is gonna be four and we are gonna charge uh, let's say $20 uh, for uh, each uh, chair for example so uh, uh, let's check okay so so now we have four twenty then five so it works uh, but what we would like uh, to have is only display this uh, field when uh, by chairs is uh, checked so what we can do is go into the conditions tab condition tab then add a, a condition the condition is when chairs equals zero which means it's unchecked we want to hide the number of chairs so so we simply click it to make it hidden when the condition is true so now it's uh, hidden and then when we click it it's uh, displayed so we have zero multiplied by 20 because the checkbox is unchecked and now four multiplied by 20. Notice that when the, this field is hidden, then its value becomes zero. It's like it doesn't uh, exist. So now we don't have uh, extra cost. When we check it, becomes, it adds uh, 80. Adds 100 and then it adds nothing. 100. So we have seen many features of the module, many types of uh, fields that you can use, and many concepts like the price formula and the conditions and the field formulas, etc. So the module allows you to 
configure highly customizable products which allow for many many possibilities i hope you find it very useful see you in the next episode